morning, good morning. It is finally a pretty good morning to me. The sun is shining today. It's still pretty windy, but the roads are pretty good today. Yeah, that's good. I am about 400 kilometers away from home right now. So that means I'm about eh, 70 kilometers away from Dryden, in Ontario. So uh, I am actually going only 12 miles away uh, by, by my house. The highway goes by my house about 12 miles away. So and since this uh, load has got lots of time on it, it only needs to be in Edmonton by uh, Monday morning. And today is only Friday. I have uh, lots of time to get there, so guess what? I am going to go stop at home and spend this afternoon and evening and night with the wife and kids. And then I'll probably head out again tomorrow to continue on my journey to uh, Edmonton. And we had also ordered a uh, treadmill from Sears. And they have sent us an email that uh, apparently it's there, no? And which they did say to us, it's supposed to be there on the night. So, uh, well, I guess I'll go pick up that treadmill this afternoon once I get home and uh, take it home and set it all up, put it together and all that fun stuff. And I guess I'll be running on the treadmill for a little bit. My wife has been begging me for years already to buy a treadmill, so finally they had one that was on sale for a pretty good price, so I think the regular price was like $12.99, so basically $1,300, and they had it on sale no uh, over Boxing Week there for uh, uh, $3.89, so that was, a, that was a good price, that was a good sale, so and this is the one that has the handlebars on front there so you can still you know move your hands up and down and it also has the incline on the on the belt itself you know so i think it's not a bad uh, treadmill i guess we'll see once we get it home how bad or how good it actually is but i think it's a pretty good one so uh but yeah i guess uh, i'll go home i'll fuel up the truck well, first I'll go drop the trailer and then probably go home and say hi to the wife. Kids will probably be in the school yet, but uh, yeah, I'll go say hi to the wife and drop off my laundry and then she can probably do my laundry and uh, I'll probably go fuel up the truck and probably wash it after all this ice and snow that I've had for the last week. So got so much ice and salt and everything on my truck, I think it's time to wash the truck. So. I'll probably do that. Go do that, and then uh, and then we'll go pick up the treadmill and set all that stuff up. And have a nice dinner tonight. Go back to work tomorrow, I suppose. Alrighty. Way station the ahead. Scale up here and turn uh, left on Grey Draper Road. Highway Million Bay, Ontario is open. I'm gonna see what they want today. Looks like they're stopping this other guy. He's probably going to complain because of his lights, probably. Wouldn't be surprised. My lights, I cleaned them yesterday evening, so my lights should be good. Let's see what he's got to say to that guy. I don't know why he's stopping him, but oh well, I guess we'll find out. I look like they give him the parking light. Yep, he's going to have to park. Probably come in and see what they will tell me. So far, the light says forward, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Leave. It says leave. Turn left That's on Grey Draper Road, Highway 17. I like that. When I can leave. That's the best. Yep. Oh well. 
I guess the other guy's lights were too dirty. I guess he's just gonna make him clean it or whatever. He's gonna give him shit for that. That's why I stop periodically and clean my lights just to make sure that I don't get myself into trouble like that, you know? Hey, that's just the way it goes. You don't do your job properly, you're gonna get stopped. Anyways, we are getting the hammer down going home, I suppose, 265 kilometers. So, uh, yeah, 285 kilometers till home. Should be home in about three hours. Just dropped the uh, trailer here at the yard. And now I'm going to go home and hug the kiss, hug the, hug the wife and kiss the wife. And then I'm gonna go wash the truck, fuel her up. So that way I'm all ready to go tomorrow. So, and then uh, in the meantime, we'll go pick up our uh, treadmill and already arranged arrange with the wife. She's gonna take out some uh, beef ribs. So, stay tuned for what that's gonna do. Probably gonna have barbecue rib uh, barbecue tonight. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. With that, we'll see you later. Well, I'm just getting ready to go in the wash bay over here at the Shell and Steinbeck. And I figured give you a little bit of a tour on what my truck looks like before and after. Look at all the snow we got up here on my fuel tank. And that's where my uh, air conditioning unit is and all that stuff. Look at that, how much we got salt and snow. Stuff like that up here in the frame. Look at that, it's all covered in snow nice so we'll go wash that off and we'll be back i think the truck looks a lot better now i think we got most of the ice off of here we didn't probably get all of it off of here but hey look at this this looks much better now than what it did before so yeah <clears throat> that took me almost an hour to wash it and i didn't even get all of it off yet so that just goes to show you when you drive an ice rain that sucks. That sticks to the truck real bad, you know. But anyways, uh, that should do it for now. We'll be back later. Well, guess what? We are outside and we are cooking ourselves some uh, beef ribs. They are starting to look pretty good. At least I think so. Yep, they are starting to look pretty good, but it's cold out here, so I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> 